Hello everybody, my name is Asano Weir. In this my topic, I'm going to talk about um, conflicts of interest and ethical, ethical um, crisis management, um, kind of conflicts of interest and resources. The conflicts between uh, time and resources. Um, using of company organization, company organization or government resources or outside employment or second job employment for competitor or supplier. Outside consulting work or personal business on company time, visits from outside business or customer or colleague, conflicts of interest within these familiar members. Personally used company resources or equipment is prohibited. Personally selling the is selling in workplace for gain is prohibited. So there are certain things that is prohibited in your workplace to protect your company interest for your interest not to clash with your personal interest and government or company or business interest. So there should be a dichotomy, a difference, how we can segregate this one. The time for your work should always be the time for your work or your business. So clashes or conflicts can occur when the interaction of your personal interest interfere with the interest of the organization you are working for or the business you are doing. So, I'm going to talk about um, um, moral conscience. Moral conscience or ethical balance at a workplace or a community. What is conscience in this scenario? Like you are doing business, then at the end you are working at the end of the same particular moment you are using company resources. So, there is something that we call conscience, right? Conscience is your internal feeling of right and wrong of right and wrong as well as the governing force behind your ideas and action. Conscience simply means that it gives a signal that ah, this thing I'm doing is very wrong, these things I'm doing is right. So conscience tell you this one, it, you always have the conscience but it's not about decision making, right? Then what is feeling in this context? Feeling also is to be able to persuade of something based on the intuition or the emotion that you have or other indefinite grounds. So, feeling means that how you feel in certain situation, how you feel. Then, what is logic? In logic, logic reasoning or the capable of reasoning is very clear and consistent. In logic simply means that a fact is a fact. You make a decision in a fact way. You do something that you know that you are supposed to do and these are the right things. So that is called logic and that is the, 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 the reasoning power that you use to differentiate between the good and the bad which come to the fact. Then we're talking about guilt, right? Guilt is a personal, it's the feeling of shame or remorse that results from a sense of having done something wrong. A guilt is something that we sometimes live with. If you live with it, it can create chaos at the end of the day. But guilt is something that can help us to know, to accept that what we are doing is wrong and what we are doing is right. For the guilt deal with the conscience. It sometimes lives with us, but you don't have to rely on it you always have to let the guilt go if you are wrong you always accept that ah, i'm wrong then you forget about it you correct the mistakes right then we're talking about absolute what is absolute absolute is the pure not to be doubt or a question right the question absolute mean that it's absolutely true that is is fact then we're talking about relativism here right Relativism means it is the philosophy, is the philosophical philosophy that acknowledge the existence of truth and the value, but reject their absolute natures, right? It's talking about also a fact, it's talking about the existence of truth 
that this is the truth, you know. Then we're talking about an ethical balance in person. Has ethical balance in a person has the value and the perspectives and the responsibility and the ca characteristics. Ethical balance it simply means that it's fair in decision. So whenever someone you want to take decision, your environment, your resources, your responsibility should not affect your ethical decision. That simply means that you're emotional or you feel uh, sympathetic for someone. That should not affect your decision making. Or because of I have sympathy for this person, that's why I should make the wrong choice. No. So this is talking about the, the conflicts of interest. If you allow your emotion to invade with your fact in decision, then it can it can it can lead to conflicts of interest. Then, for example, also sites you are doing side business. At the end of the day, you are working. Then, in your workplace, then something comes up on your business. So you are in your workplace. Then you want to solve the the, the, the issue of your of your business so that simply means that there is no ethical balance right there is no fairness in it then we're talking about ethical communication ethical communication in every workplace says that everyone doing things what is right and they do what is not right right so ethical communication in every workplace is very necessary your word should be your word a fact should be a fact you should not be lying so ethical communication in every organization is more efficient and more important and, and more relevant because whenever there is an ethical communication between one co-worker or one organizations or in any ministry there is an ethical uh, communication everybody we have work for the same goals and they know that what this person is saying is the right way so everybody will go on the same track so ethical communication in conflicts of interest is more essential and it also is a guide guidance right then in ethical communication it is also important to have the highest regard for ethics honest communication in the workplace or organization or any ministry what have to mean you have to use word that means say yes say what that you mean and you say something that also you mean to do so ethical communication does not require excuse or or backward or backpedal or trust is absolute necessary for a business or any organization or any ministry you know lack of this of of trust might destroy this ethical communication so ethical communication in this regard of conflicts of interest is more essential for every organization I stop here and my next topic I'm going to explain about um, um, feeling um, logic, facts and guilty and absolutes and uh, moral ethics.